Hey everyone, Harrison Reed here. Today I'm going to talk to you about some books that will help you as an academic writer. But these books are not written by someone in medicine or even in the sciences at all. I think it's often important for us to remember that we can look outside of our own profession, our own bubble, our own channels, and find writing advice from expert communicators, novelists, memoirists, journalists, people who have really perfected the art of written communication. I also find these books to be pretty entertaining, and it's nice to sometimes get out of our typical rut of our own areas of expertise, our own niche, into uh, some more whimsical parts of writing and really find the joy of writing and really uh, internalize some of the philosophy of people who have spent a lifetime making a living as writers. So the first book I'm going to tell you about is probably my favorite writing book ever. This is Writing Tools by Roy Peter Clark. Roy Peter Clark is one of my favorite writing teachers. He's a journalist and writing educator, writing teacher, writing coach, uh, who was for many years at the Pointer Institute in Tampa, Florida. He's excellent at breaking down the mechanics of writing, and in Writing Tools, each chapter is a very specific tool that you can use to make your writing better. Now, this starts at the most basic level and builds up to some really neat tricks. And along the way, you can feel yourself growing as a writer. I started reading this book when I was 19 years old as a young journalist trying to publish my first newspaper articles, and it changed the way I looked at writing. It changed my writing for the better, and I still revisit it. You can see how worn out my copy of it is. I love this book. I can't recommend it highly enough. The second book I want to tell you about is by a name you may recognize. This is On Writing by Stephen King. Now, everyone knows Stephen King, the king of horror. He's written hundreds of books, and, and many of them have been adapted to TV and movies. He's probably one of the most well-known and commercially successful writers out there. This book is a little different than writing tools. While it contains a lot of great writing advice and even down to the mechanics of writing, it's in parts a memoir of King's life and writing career. I find that it's a pretty good mix of entertainment and uh, informative writing advice and just advice on someone who's been through a lot and done a lot in his life. It can be a little self-involved at times, and if you're not a fan of memoirs in general or of Stephen King at all, you may shy away from this, and it's not going to be that hardcore writing advice book that you're maybe looking for to improve your writing mechanics. But I think it's a good idea to sort of hear from someone who gets a lot of joy out of writing and struggled through parts of his writing career, especially if you're struggling to write as well. All right, the third book I want to tell you about is Bird by Bird by Anne Lamott. Now, this is another person who incorporates a lot of her personality into the writing. She's a bit self-deprecating, very humorous, looks at writing and life as completely intertwined, and a lot of the writing lessons in this book are really more life lessons. There's a lot of philosophy here, but I think it's really helpful when you're struggling for motivation. It kind of feels like you're just talking to an old friend who's you know been through a lot and has some good perspective on life and its ups and downs, but also on the writing process as well. She's not shy about the struggles that she had with writing, so I find it's really relatable, even if you're not a novelist in your profession, uh, to be able to just hear from someone who has had those ups and downs emotionally and dealt with a lot through the writing process. I think it's great to commiserate sometimes, and Bird by Bird is a great way to motivate yourself through some of the tougher parts of your writing process. All right, now we're getting a little more whimsical. The Zen in the Art of Writing by Ray Bradbury is a really interesting book, and you can kind of classify this as uh, the, the ranting of one of the most successful writers of all time, certainly someone who you've heard his work uh, and, and read his work and seen all of its adaptations as well. But Ray Bradbury is a more interesting character than some of the other writers that are writing some of the books in this video. He gives a lot of his advice on writing, and you can really see the joy come out in the way he talks about it. You might not relate to the specific perspective all the time because he's quite a character and someone who's made a very non-traditional living through writing, but I think some of the lessons of observation and internalizing the world around you can kind of elevate your writing to another level. You can appreciate the thought process that goes into producing a unique work, and maybe it just adds a little bit of whimsy to some of your academic writing as well. 
All right, I'm gonna bring it home here with a familiar face. This is another one by Roy Peter Clark. I know, I know two by the same author in a short list is a little bit much, but I really think Roy Peter Clark is a gifted teacher of writing, and he's really made a book for the modern age. Write Short is about how you can adapt to this shortened attention span that all readers seem to have these days and take great writing mechanics into things like tweets and blogs and emails and all of those short form areas where we don't often think about needing to succeed but can have a powerful impact by writing short, concise, powerful writing. I like this book because it takes a lot of those lessons from writing tools to the next level and shows how you can really deliberately make powerful writing in a very short medium. So I really recommend this for anyone who's like, hey, I went out there and wrote this 4,000 word research paper, but I know not everyone's gonna sit down and read it. How can I get my message out there in bite-sized tidbits that people can digest, that can get people's attention? Write Short has amazing lessons for the modern age. I can't recommend this book highly enough. Okay, so there you have it. Five books that were not written by anyone in academia necessarily, or certainly not in the sciences, but give you a nice little mix of writing lessons, life philosophy, entertainment, maybe some laughs. If you enjoy reading about writing or just want to get better at writing, I think finding a little bit of joy, finding a little bit of personal connection to writing can be an awesome exercise and can make you a better academic writer going forward. If you found this video to be helpful, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Find more of my writing advice at harrisonreadwriting.com where I can give you all kinds of articles and guides to get you started or get you to the next level of your writing and get that next writing project underway. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'll talk to you next time.